Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're looking live at problem number 9.6 and here from a great Python book. And we are supposed to display a tic-tac-toe board. And the basic idea, of course, is that we're supposed to create a tic-tac-toe board. Um, you can see uh, uh, an image of it in figure 9.25 in the book. Um, and you're supposed to use the random int function or rand int to, dis to choose an image to which to display. So before um, I show you the code, I'm gonna go, I'm going to talk you through what went on and then we'll, I, I'll, I'll give you an outline of what we, what I did, and then I'll show you the code, and then I'll, then I'll run it. Uh, again, this time I have the code uh, pre-written, um, but, and I'll show it to you once we're done and sort of just give you an idea of what it is. But basically, I'm just going to talk you through it first. Okay. So the first thing we have to do when we're doing this, of course, is we have to create a TK um, object. So we have to, an instance of a TK. So we have to do a window equals to TK. Okay. Um, and now on that window, we want to create a canvas object. So we bring up a canvas object, um, canvas. And you know it's it's some it's some width. Uh, in my case, I chose like 500, and a height. Again, I chose it to be a 500. You know, these are the attributes of the canvas. Um, oh, uh, the most important um, attribute you have to always include is the window or where it should be located. Um, and whenever you, you build a, a, a Canvas object or whatever, you always have to install it. And to do that, we have to do a pack. So that puts the Canvas object on the, the window. Um, of course, that's using the Geometry uh, Manager pack. OK, so and um, a and then so what are we going to do? Well, now basically what you, you have is you have this, um, uh, let me see, let me go down a little bit here. Uh, let me go over here. Yeah. So you create this, you know, the the TK, the instance of Tkinter like this, the TK object. Okay. And then on there, so and then on there we create the canvas so maybe i'll draw the canvas like this um so the canvas i probably should have drawn the the uh the window i guess as a um broken bar but okay so this is the um this the inside one here is the canvas object so that's the canvas that's the canvas object. Now, the way I did it anyhow, is basically I broke the, the canvas object into essentially a um, three by three um, grid, if you will. So we have this three by three grid, something like this. And I, I numbered the, um, so then this is the rows over here. I had row zero, row one, row two, and then of course the columns go zero, one, and two. And so I did, I did a nested for loop, um, Iterating over the the number or iterating iterating over the the um, rows and the columns and at each position so at each position 
I would randomly choose an integer. So at each position, each position, um, you use, uh, you choose random, random dot rand int, um, chooses a number between zero and one. And remember it's um, the, the, sorry, it would choose a number zero or one, rand int includes the boundaries here. So we, we do, we would choose zero or one here. Um, and then once that, that number is chosen, then that number corresponds to um, say zero corresponds or corresponds to corresponds to the X image, X GIF or X image, if you will. Uh, yeah, X GIF and then um, one corresponds uh, to the O GIF. Oh, GIF, and I import that image, import that image, import that image using um, photo, uh, sorry, photo image. So important point here is um, with photo image, Um, with photo image, you have to use GIFs here. So uh, it's, uh, you must use GIFs, must use GIFs. So I had to get, I had to get the corresponding GIFs um, for this image. So mine are not the ones from the book, but they're, you know, very similar, basically. Um, and then because we're because we're using we're using images in this guy then you display the the image display the chosen chosen image using um the canvas dot create image and um it's of course, the attributes here are x, y, oops, x, y, which are the, I, I believe they're the, I forget exactly what that is, what, what coordinates they correspond to, um, and a image. I, I'm sorry, I forget what the x and y uh, coordinates correspond to, whether they're the center or one of the corners. I'm sorry, I can't quite remember offhand. But we'll we'll jump to the we'll jump to the code right now, and we'll begin with it. So um, here's the code that I wrote. Again, um, you know, we have that we we import the we import TK the two uh, TK uh, module. And we're also going to have to import the random module because of the need to use random int. Okay. And this is just creating the TK, like I said, the TK object, which is window. Um, and then, like I said, I'm importing both um, photos, both um, the cross GIF and the O image um, using the photo image. And then this part here, so the for loops here, um, the for loops are, like I said, um, iterating over the, the first one should be the rows and the second one should be the columns, even though I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Well, I, I, that's what it is. Anyhow, so, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, and, and then, I, you know, I just choose one of the numbers, zero or one, um, and if n is zero, then I just pin that image, um, that image to the, the board. 
and otherwise I pin the other image in there. The, the other comment you ha I had to make here, and I forgot about it, um, I, um, okay, so I forgot to mention this, I apologize about that, but the, the canvas.pack has to go after um, every, um, is that true? It, well, the, actually, I'm pretty sure, let, let's check something here, because I don't think um, this has to be here. Let's just see, um, so if I go like this here, I think I'm, this line is actually not right. I think, um, or I mean, I don't think I actually need it there. I think I put it there, but I don't actually need it. Because I think if you, you just need to pack it once. So let's just try this and see what happens. Okay, so I think this will work. Okay, so let's see what happens when I run it. Uh, what do I get? Come on, come on. It's a little slow. Okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, yeah, and like I said, um, it's 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 choosing the these numbers at random, and then it's displaying the image. Um. Let's try that again. That's a little suspicious. So let's try this again. Um, I'm a little suspicious about that, but it looks like it worked. And come on, little fellow. Come on, you can do it. It's uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, okay. It's it's doing the right thing. Like I said, it's just choosing an X or an O randomly and putting it where it should be. And th this is this is kind of what your board should look like. Like I said, it's not. Mine's not exactly his because I had to use um, different different images and stuff. But yeah, that's basically the idea. I mean, it's not it's not a um, overly uh, complicated problem, I guess. The the one of the 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 challenges, I, I, I guess, it's kind of just you know a little exercise in in playing around with um, objects and stuff like that, and then you know using canvas and sort of you know creating different canvas canvas eye, if you will. Uh, okay. Um, Thank you very much. I think that's about it for this problem. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.